Hello, ballers! What's going on? It's Preacher. And you guys are always asking me, how can we make some gold, Preacher? We want to make some big fat cash. And we want that cash in our lives. Well, okay, let's make some cash then. How do we make a lot of cash in World of Warcraft? Well, some people think it's dailies. A lot of, lot of all this kind of crap that takes up your time. Farming, mining, herbing. Oh, kill me now. So boring. We abuse the people who are never, ever prepared for anything. That's right. They do not see the hands in front of their face. They cannot see the wood for the trees. They cannot even tell that the pandas are coming. They know all about it. They've been told for months that the pandas are coming, yet they're still unprepared. So in that situation, we can take some of their gold ballers. Let them do the farming for us and let us just take all their gold. If they're freely going to prepare us to take all their money, I'll be the guy who takes it off them. Because somebody's going to take it. Might as well be us. Might as well. So, how can we prepare for this? First of all, when uh, Mr. Pandaria launches, we're going to get a lot of people re-rolling pandas. A lot of these people are not going to be prepared for that. I'm talking thousands upon thousands of people, hundreds per server, who are just not prepared for it. They need their good stuff. That's right, they need things. They don't realise they need them right now for some ungodly reason. Therefore, we shall abuse the fact that they don't know that. First and foremost, bags. We've always talked about bags. You can even buy bags from an auction vendor who gives them out for a decent price, a very cheap. But people don't realize this. They just don't know. So we can make ourselves some cheap netherweave bags, as we've talked about in previous videos, where we can go and just rack those bags up and get them saved. What we are going to be doing, ballers, is going to be stacking stuff because the patience is what's going to be key here. We're going to wait. We're going to bide our time. We're going to be absolutely prepared and ready. So we're going to make ourselves a bunch of bags, probably about the region of 100 to 150 bags. It's not going to cost you a lot at all. Very easy to make. So these are going to be nether weave bags. Get them made and get ready to spam that auction house. That's right. As soon as Mr. Pandaria launches, the day it launches, the very minute it happens, we are going to spam that auction house. We're going to have something in the region of about 200 to 300 auctions up. That's right. That's normal. That's okay. That just may seem a lot to some people. That is perfectly normal. That is a good auction number to have up. So, Mr. Pandaria launches. That server message arrives. Please restart your clients. Mr. Pandaria is now live. That is what will happen. We will relog. We will be in Ogrimmar. We will be in Stormwind. We will be wherever we need to be. And we will be at the auction house with our inventory full of goodies and our mailbox full of goodies ready to be sold. We're going to go straight to the auction house. We're going to put them all up for a price we decide. We do not use the auction house related price. If we, if the average price is about 23 gold, we're going to put them up there for 30 gold. We're going to make an extra 7 gold on top of that. 7 gold times 100 is an extra 700 gold in your pocket just because you did that. If you want to try and be a little bit higher, feel free. Feel free to do that. But be aware, if you put it too high, people will undercut you. That's okay. The next thing is glyphs. Blizzard has been so kind as to bless us with the monk glyphs now. They've blessed us with the monk glyphs now. Why have they have done this? I have no idea. But basically, Mr. Pandaria is in the game already. They just haven't activated the zeppelins. So we can actually create all the monk glyphs now. As you can see me doing in the background, I am making a lot of monk glyphs. Yes, I am. Why? People are going to want to try out the monk. They're going to want to do that. And they're going to go, oh, I need my glyphs. Well, of course you need your glyphs. Come to Preach's Emporium or whatever your Emporium might be. Get them on the auction house. But we don't release them now because the people who are releasing them now are the discerning people. Yes, they're the people who plan ahead. And if they're slightly too expensive, they'll literally, quite literally, just chill the fuck out and they will get their friends to make it. They will just wait and bide their time. We don't want those people. Those people like to be picky about what they pay. We want to get the people who go, I need them now. I need every single glyph right, right now. Cool, I will provide them for you on the day Mr. Pandaria launches. So what we're going to do now is abuse the fact that herbs are incredibly cheap right now. Our cataclysm herbs are stupidly cheap. We're going to browse the auction houses every single day. What comes up nice and cheap using our auctionator mod that we discussed in previous videos. We're then going to buy all those out. We're going to mill those bad boys down and then we're going to start churning out some glyphs. We're going to have a bank all. This guy is just going to store all our stuff. We're just going to leave it there. We've got another eight days to go. We're going to leave it there. We're just going to chill the fuck out and have a great time. They're all going to sit there. They're just going to be waiting. Waiting for the moment that when Mr. Pandaria launches, we're going to mail all that stuff to our main character. And then as soon as that server comes live, we're going to post them all. You're going to post them all for 48 hours. And then we're going to go level. 
The big thing about this is do not keep checking your auction house. Don't do that. Just leave them up for two days. Whatever sells, sells. And then you repost them after two days. You do not check the mailbox. You do not check the auction for another 48 hours. Leave it up there. Because the more time you spend standing staring at the auction house is more money being lost. You could be doing other things. Get them made now, ballers. This is going to be a great, great way of making a hell of a lot of money at the start of Mr. Pandaria. Trust me on this one. It works every single time. I hope you enjoy it.